In this video, we're going to finish our reaction time program by displaying the information to the user of how long it took them to react. And also we're gonna enable key bindings so, so that the spacebar can actually be used as an alternative to clicking with the mouse. So we've actually got the reaction time here, but we need to somehow uh, tell the main frame to actually display that information. So we, what we want to do is something like this. Let's say main frame dot set, let's call it summary text. And we want uh, some text that tells the user how long they took to react. So we haven't implemented this method yet. Let's say string dot format, because we've got to combine a number with text here. And here, let's have a string that says something like you reacted in percent D because it's a decimal, it's an integer, milliseconds. And then we just have to pass here to string.format the number of milliseconds. So we're going to take this and replace this percent D placeholder with this and that will return a nicely formatted string. Now we haven't implemented this set summary text method. Let's click the icon here and go to create method set summary text string in type mainframe. And that jumps to mainframe and creates a stub for the method for me. Now where do we actually want to put this summary text? I actually want to put it on the result panel here. So it's actually the title text of the result panel. So let's say here result panel dot set title text and I also haven't implemented that and we'll put here let's call this something else like um, just text maybe and we're going to set that on the result panel like this. So now we've got to implement this set title text so let's just click the error and go to create method set title text in type reaction panel and now how do we set the title text here? We've got to access the title label so we need to say title label dot set text and just pass text to it there. Okay, let's run this and see if it works. So I run it and okay, click, wait, click as fast as I can and it says your reaction in three, I should have said is or was 306 milliseconds. Let's just make that text a bit nicer. So where do I set it? It was actually in the Control it, your reaction time was however many milliseconds. Now there's one last thing that I want to do here, um, which is I want key bindings to be set up so that I can actually press the space bar instead of clicking. Now I was thinking we could use key bindings here, the key bindings API, but uh, that's a little bit tricky if we've only got a main frame to work with and probably the easiest thing to do here is just to do add key listener like this so we add key listener and say so we need something that implements the key listener interface and we've got a key adapter class so key adapter that we can just use there and then in curly brackets after that so it's exactly the same as the mouse listener idea, really. I can right click and go to source, override implement methods, and we're interested in key pressed event. And actually, we don't even really need to specify the spacebar, I don't think, here. Let's get rid of the stuff in the middle here. So what I want to do is just call on user input. So people can actually just press whatever whatever key they like here. Let's get rid of that space there. And then if I run this, so now I'm gonna press the space bar and see if that works. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> the best I can do with this is actually about, I did get like 226 milliseconds once, but normally I'm like 240. I cut out caffeine recently, and I think that hasn't helped. And also the fact that I'm talking but if you get this working, see if you can do better and do let me know how quickly you can actually react. Okay, let's try. Ah, no, that was really long. I even felt the delay then. Okay, so um, 
that's it for this sort of mini tutorial on creating a reaction time app in Swing. Do consider taking a look at my Swing GUI programming from beginner to expert course. You can watch the first videos uh, completely for free just by clicking preview here. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.